Paul O'Grady's husband, Andre Portacio, has shared details of the Birkenhead icon's final moments. The Lily Savage star died on March 28, 2023, age 67, when he suffered a sudden cardiac arrhythmia. Andre has recalled details of the day Paul died on the anniversary of his death. He told our sister site Mirror Online the two were having, quote, the most ordinary day at their home in Kent. He said, quote, I got up early and gone down to the fields as I was working in the woodland. Paul had come back from touring, so was a little bit tired and woke up really late. Usually he would stagger down from the bedroom with his hair on end and moaning it was the beginning of the day. He loved a good moan, but he had a meeting with his producer, Malcolm Prince, about his radio show when he was looking very smart in a white shirt and had a good aura. I'll never forget saying to him how handsome he looked and him joking back saying, f*** off. After the afternoon's meeting, Paul would have usually walked their five dogs alone, but this time asked Andre along as he wanted to show him some new trees he had bought. Andre explained the two were watching ITV News when Paul went to the kitchen to get some tea. He added, quote, I heard this loud bang, but because the house is big and old, I didn't think of anything at first. Andre initially thought Paul had gone to the cottage in the grounds, but was frozen in shock when he headed into the kitchen and found Paul laying on the floor. He said, quote, I just didn't know what to think at first. He had a cut on his forehead and I thought he was probably just unconscious. I called the ambulance and they said the best chance to keep him alive was to do CPR. Andre explained he tried desperately to save Paul's life as he added, quote, I don't know how long it took for the ambulance to arrive, but by the end, I was exhausted. When the crew arrived, paramedics spent an hour trying to resuscitate Paul. At one point, they were like, yes, he's breathing. I thought the nightmare was gone, but it was very short-lived. And very shortly afterwards, they pronounced him dead. He added, quote, The saddest part of this all is that when all of this happened, and as I was trying to resuscitate him, I was trying to keep the dogs out of the room. But somehow, Paul's dog, Arthur, who was one of his favourites, escaped and he nuzzled his face, as he always did, on Paul's shoulder, as if to say, wake up. It was just heartbreaking. Andre said he was grateful for the overwhelming support he has received from people across the UK after Paul's death. The two had been together for 18 years and married in 2017. As Andre admitted, he is still processing the death. He said, quote, I really thought that when we got married, it would be forever. I just didn't realise that forever would be so short-lived. Andre explained he wanted to get as far away as possible from their home in Kent for the anniversary of Paul's death and has travelled to New Zealand. He said, quote, I don't want to be anywhere near my kitchen where I found him and be reminded of what happened. Andre has brought Paul's passport with him for the trip as he added, quote, It will feel like he's coming with me anyway, which is what he would have loved and he couldn't do long haul flights as he got older. But he would have loved New Zealand and on the day in question, I will remember him quietly in my own way. Paul was renowned for his passion for social justice as he campaigned for animal rights and LGBTQ plus equality. Andre explained he is determined to continue his legacy as he said, quote, Paul was very protective of me during the 18 years we spent together, but I'm ready for the next challenge and my duty is to carry Paul's work on. I'm hoping this trip will also really give me a sense of looking forward and how I will move on and the prospect of not being with him.